What is up, everybody? We have a outer thigh workout for you today. So we're working our hamstrings, working our IT bands, which is the side here, and working our back and butt. So I'm very excited for this workout. And as always, we'll run through all of the exercises and then do them together. So here we go. All right, first exercise down on the ground is a diamond kick. These are hard, okay? And they're awkward when you're doing that. I'm just, I am warning you now, this workout is gonna put you into some compromising positions, but it's really good for your legs, I promise. All right, so you're gonna put your feet together as best as you can, and you're gonna be lifting up with your hips as far as you can. So you notice I'm very much flexed in my butt and in my hamstrings, and if this is too much for your uh, pelvic bones, you can put some towels underneath, but you're just gonna be lifting and your hands are gonna be by your side. So it's lifting and the more that you push your feet together, the more that your hamstrings are gonna fire. The next one is a frog bridge. Again, you're going to be in somewhat of a compromising position, okay? So a regular bridge, your feet are down, you're pushing up, right? This one, your feet are together, just like that diamond kick, and you're pressing up, okay? Still super flexed in those outer thighs, and in the butt and you're coming down and then pressing. Really pull the core in as you do this. And I like to keep my hand where I know I need to flex. So if it's on my butt, I'm like, okay, I'm flexing my butt. Flexing my thighs, I'm good. Because if you don't, you might just become lax. Next is a side lying leg lift. So we've done these before. Bottom leg bent, top leg is going to be extending, have a little bit of sand. Kind of what happens when you're at the beach here pointing your toe back towards your knee. And on this one, I want you to point your toe to as if you are extending as far as you can. Other side, same thing, coming over, leg down, straighten out, and then just reach. You wanna extend and reach up, extend and reach up, okay? Extend that leg, reach it nice and high. Really tight here. Then last two exercises are standing up. We're gonna doing a chair pose and a sumo squat. So chair pose. A little bit of yoga here, chest up, shoulders back, hands up, sitting as far back as you can, and just breathing, arms up, really flex. You really wanna be pushing your heels in, rolling your tailbone under, and flexing your legs. That's really where you're gonna get the power of the chair pose. Like, you're trying to push your legs together, but you're not actually putting your legs together. And the sumo squat. Oldie but a goodie, squatting down, hands by your side. And if you can't go down far enough because you feel like you have knee problems, what I want you to do is sit into your heels, sit back and just pulse maybe like a couple inches. Okay, this is really gonna fire those inner thighs as well as tighten the outer thighs so everything's being pulled in. So that is your very sweaty outer thigh workout right now. That's what I'm feeling. A little bit hot out here, but summertime's coming up, it's beautiful. So let's do this workout together. First exercise, those diamond kicks for 30 seconds, so get into position. And we're gonna be on the ground a lot, so just make sure when you stand up, it's slowly, okay? If you need to get water or something, just make sure it's nice and slow. So hands by your side, feet together, and begin kicking up. So remember, 30 seconds, and these are gonna make your legs scream, almost feel like a Charlie horse, but that is a good thing right now because it's really working, those hamstrings. Those hamstrings are gonna tighten up those outer thighs and you're doing this, so really pressing and hold it up, press and hold, and try to drive your feet together. Woo, that one is hard. Press, press, press. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and down. Oh my goodness, my legs are screaming. All right, frog, ready, and press. Frog bridge, feet together, hold this for four seconds, three, two, and down. Really slow and press. One, two, three, four, pull the core in, five, down, press. One, two, three, four, five. Good, two more rounds, down, press. Five, four, three, two, one, down. Good, press. Five, four, three, two, slowly lower down. Transition to your side. Whatever is comfortable to start with first. 15 seconds, extend the toe and bend that bottom leg, get into a comfortable position and pulse. 15 seconds here, then we're gonna switch sides. Big breath, good. Should be really burning on those legs now. 
especially if you've done some other of my workouts here. You can kind of pair all of them up if you want full body. It's awesome. Three, two, one, and switch sides. That's what's really cool about these kinds of workouts is they're short enough. Ready, three, two, and go, press out. That you can do multiple in a day at any time of day, it doesn't matter. I like to work out in the morning and at night because it helps me kind of focus, but they're really short workouts. It's just enough to make sure that I don't lose my patience during the day. <laughs> Ready, three, two, and hold, down, chair pose. Are we doing four? 15 seconds because it's a little bit harder. So you pull down your shorts or your pants, take a drink of water and 15 seconds in this chair pose, ready and up. So sit back into those heels, big breath. You need to lift up those toes a little bit, look up to the sky, pull on the core and breathe. So sitting here, good, press and hold. Good, three, two, one, sumo squat, 30 seconds and go. So this pulse, in this sumo squat, I do want to do for the full 30 seconds because you're really burning in here. Sit back into the heels, pull the core in, breathe. Good. Sitting from the side here. Really want to be working those outer thighs. Big breath. Got some sweat beads coming down for you guys. Beautiful Florida sun, but it is beautifully hot out here. Five seconds, four, three, two, and stand. Woo, the legs should be burning. Going right down into the diamond kick for round two. Ready, five seconds, four, three, feet together, two, and go. Kicking up, so remember 30 seconds, and these are gonna make your legs scream, almost feel like a Charlie horse, but that is a good thing right now because it's really working those hamstrings. Those hamstrings are gonna tighten up those outer thighs when you're doing this, so really pressing and hold it up, press and hold, and try to drive your feet together. Woo, that one is hard. Press, press, press. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and down. Oh my goodness, my legs are screaming. All right, frog, ready, and press. Frog bridge, feet together. Hold this for four seconds, three, two, and down, really slow and press. One, two, three, four, pull the core in, five, down, press. One, two, three, four, five. Good, two more rounds, down, press. Five, four, three, two, one, down, good, press. Five, four, three, two, slowly lower down, transition to your side. Whatever is comfortable to start with first. 15 seconds, extend the toe and bend that bottom leg, get into a comfortable position and pulse. 15 seconds here, then we're gonna switch sides. Big breath, good. Should be really burning on those legs now, especially if you've done some other of my workouts here. You can kind of pair all of them up if you want full body. It's awesome. Three, two, one, and switch sides. That's what's really cool about these kinds of workouts is they're short enough, ready, three, two, and go, press out. That you can do multiple in a day at any time of day, it doesn't matter. I like to work out in the morning and at night because it helps me kind of focus, but they're really short workouts. It's just enough to make sure that I don't lose my patience during the day. <laughs> Ready, three, two, and hold, down, chair pose. Are we doing four, 15 seconds because it's a little bit harder. So you pull down your shorts or your pants, take a drink of water and 15 seconds in this chair pose, ready and up. So sit back into those heels, big breath. You need to lift up those toes a little bit, look up to the sky, pull on the core and breathe. So sitting here, good, press and hold. Good, three, two, one, sumo squat, 30 seconds and go. So this pulse in this sumo squat, I do wanna do for the full 30 seconds because you're really burning in here. Sit back into the heels, pull the core in, breathe. Good. Sitting from the side here. Really wanna be working those outer thighs. Big breath. Got some sweat beads coming down for you guys. Pulsing here, last set. Let's go five seconds, four, three, pull the core in, two, and one. Hold here, stand up, walk it up, shake it out. That's your sweaty 
outer thigh leg workout. My hamstrings are screaming, but that means that I am working. So if you like this workout and all of the others, make sure you share this channel with a friend and get to all the other workouts and recipes. And I'll see you guys in the next one.